everyone, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a what you need to bring to college video, especially for freshmen in a dorm. These are like key things that you for sure need when you go to college. And I lived in a dorm, so this is like very specific for dorms. But even if you're not dorming, like I feel like these are very like good essentials that you would need to bring in college because these are things that I would still need to bring for this upcoming school year. Let's get started onto the video. So the first thing that I say that you would need is a really good pair of headphones. I'd say invest in a good pair. These are mine. These are the Jabra's. I've talked about them before, but these are very good alternative to AirPods. And why I say invest in a good pair of headphones is because you're literally always going to be using your headphones. You're literally going to always be around people. If you're in a dorm and you're with your roommate, you're obviously not going to like just play a video out in the open like if y'all are both in there. It's only fair that you like keep quiet on your side and not like distract them with your sound from your laptop or phone. And like when you're in class or like you're in the library and study and you need to watch something. You're always going to need your headphones. Besides just these headphones, I also recommend getting a pair of wired headphones. And I know, this day and age, like, what are wires? But I recommend getting wires because sometimes it's a hassle connecting your headphones to, like, a device. Especially, like, a school device. It's easier to plug in your wired headphones than having to, like, that hassle of connecting your headphones to those devices so the next thing is you should bring your own mini fridge because if you're sharing a dorm most of the time you're either sharing a fridge with your roommate or you buy your separate ones and in my case i bought my own mini fridge we had our own mini fridges and honestly i don't know how we would have like lived if we had to share because honestly I had my own food, my roommate had her own food, and my fridge was always full of my things. Like, I could barely fit everything that I needed. And honestly, I couldn't have dealt with a shared fridge, especially because me and my roommate, our eating habits were completely different. So we ate completely different things. Also, my roommate had rented a fridge from the university, whereas I wanted to buy my own fridge. If you wanted to get your bang for your buck, I'd rather just buy your own fridge because Renting a fridge is the same price as buying a fridge and then buying the fridge you get to keep it for like the rest of your life until it breaks, you know? So the next thing is, this is more particular for if you're in a dorm. I recommend getting this. It's a bedside caddy because the dorm is so small. You most likely are going to bunk your bed and you can keep your phone here, your keys, your headphones, wherever you need. If you're going to sleep, you don't have to like go back down. You can just place things on here and it'll be good to go. By the way, if you are looking for a bedside caddy, please buy this off of me mercari link is down below also south of south promo shop my shop on poshmark mercari link will be down below please help a broke college kid out i'm just trying to like get rid of some old clothes but also take this off my hand please because i don't need this anymore because i'm no longer a freshman and this deserves like a new home while we're on the topic of bedding and bunking this isn't like an essential but this is like a recommendation so basically if you watched my room tour video you would have known that me and my roommate had matching comforters. The difference between our comforters was that hers was a twin size comforter and mine was a queen size comforter. And a lot of y'all probably were like, Ashley, why did you get a queen size comforter if you're in a twin size bed? So this is my logic when I got a queen size comforter. One, I would only be staying in a twin size bed my freshman year. I'm pretty sure I'm always going to be like in a full or queen size bed like onwards with wherever I'm staying. Most likely your bed's gonna be bunk, so you're gonna keep the bottom of your bunk storage. So what I did was the queen size comforter would drape over the bunk. It was big enough so it would cover everything. It wouldn't be as cluttered. It would still look nice and neat. If you're wondering what it looks like or you want a visual dorm tour, link will be down below. But you get to keep that blanket. I mean, you also get to keep the twin comforter too, but the queen comforter, I can reuse that comforter for my oncoming apartments and where I'm staying more bang for your buck that's it's just a recommendation if you want a twin size comforter that's on you it's honestly just a preference on like how you want it so, the next thing that is on the list is you're gonna want a good pair of rain boots like invest in a good pair of rain boots because I didn't think it was gonna rain that much in college and boy was I wrong it would just come in handy so so much just just it's a necessity also invest in a good umbrella let me tell you let me tell you invest in a good umbrella i'm on the search for a really good umbrella because my umbrella from last year broke on me because of how strong the rain and wind was it was either rain or the wind made 
sometimes both if you didn't know if you have like a weak umbrella or like a cheap umbrella when you're like literally in the rain trying to go to class and you're rushing to class your umbrella and then all of a sudden the wind picks up and the rain picks up and then like your umbrella like flips up and that's kind of annoying it happened to my umbrella so many times that like it literally broke so i need to get a new umbrella because that's not fun and along with like rain things a rain jacket would be really nice too not something you obviously need but Something if you're not going to get an umbrella or rain boots, like at least get a rain jacket, you know? The next thing is you're going to need to bring a set of professional or business attire clothes. There's going to be career fairs, interviews you have to go to. There's going to be business casual events. The next thing is essential. Let me tell you, if you want to be a happy little college kid, bring a mattress topper. Like invest in a mattress topper. Let me tell you, those dorm beds are not comfy not at all a mattress topper will like literally make a college student sleep so much happier because it makes such a difference trust me it'll make a big difference in your sleep <laughs> the next thing is a small vacuum cleaner you obviously don't want to like drag along a huge vacuum cleaner that's very bulky so i would recommend getting a small little vacuum cleaner i got mine from walmart i think it's a two type vacuum cleaner where it's like you can vacuum it but you can also take it out and then like do it by hand it's one of those those are really inexpensive and they came in handy so many times and i highly recommend it so the next thing is I recommend getting an ottoman or a poof. A lot of people tend to invest money on like a couch for their dorm or like chairs. Let me be honest with you, you're most likely not going to use it. It's just like there. Uh, whereas an ottoman and a poof, it's like multi-purpose. So instead of buying like a couch and taking up space, Space or like a chair that's taking up space if you do have friends over you can use the ottoman to sit on but i also use the ottoman to get on my bunk if you get the box ottoman you can use that storage a chair and like a way to get on top of your bunk it does a lot for how much space it takes up okay, the next thing is a portable charger in this day and age every kid is like always on their phones so i really really recommend getting a portable charger i literally go nowhere without my portable charger if i don't have a portable charger that i'm at least have my phone cord because it's such an essential the newer buildings they will at least have a usb connector so i at least just need my cord but a portable charger is to like be safe okay so we've hit the last but not least i recommend getting power strips uil approved especially for your dorm dorms you need uil approved power strips so that you don't burn out your whole dorm but power strips are very convenient because you're not going to have a lot of outlets and you're going to need a lot of outlets for like all your little knickknacks to be plugged into. So I think that's like self-explanatory. That is basically the essentials that you need for college that I highly recommend that you need to bring to college. If you have any other things that you think should be on the list, leave it down in the comments and let all the other people know. So if you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!